I was passing by our uh, beach tank on my way home and happened to glance in and observed our periwilk on the surface of the sand. Now, this is rather unusual. Uh, this animal has been buried in the sand uh, for about a month now. And previous to that, it was several months between sightings. And the reason I think he's up now is because I just recently fed the blenny, which you can see in the background. Also in the background, you can observe the um, sea anemone that we have. Now the whelk, the pear whelk, has smelled the piece of shrimp that I put in the tank next to it. And it is, that's what it's looking for right now. The whelk is a snail. And you see it, it's trying to find the piece of fish, excuse me, the piece of shrimp. It's going by scent. It looks like our Blenny might be interested in that piece of shrimp also. Let me shoo him back. And here we see the parallel turning. The two pointy things are the head that you observe. And underneath the head, on the underside of the head, and what we might call the throat area, there is a slit in the throat. And from that slit emerges a proboscis. Now, I don't know if we're going to be lucky enough to see that or not. The proboscis is a tube. It, uh, the proboscis on a butterfly, it's a tube, it's a straw that sucks up nectar. The proboscis on whelks is a tube with teeth on the end. It's how they feed. Most whelks, most of our whelks are feeding on bivalves or other snails. Now this little guy is wandering by where his food is. I'm going to see if I can zoom in. On the very tip of the pointy thing right there, that's an eye. There are two of those pointy things on the head and on each side, on the outside, is the eye. Now you see the snail raising up. It's trying to figure out where that piece of shrimp is. It may already have it in its grasp. It may be on top of it now. Interesting shots here. This is the snail, the whelk. Nope. I see the piece of shrimp behind it. So I don't know what's going on here. We will observe. For a few minutes there, you see that's a good shot of the eye right there. Of the, this animal in its shell, raising up in its shell. I will take a break in filming here and we'll wait to see if it comes back to the food or not. What I've done is I've taken the piece of shrimp and I've placed it in an easy, an area that's easy for the whelk to get a hold of it. You see the foot reaching up right now. That is the foot. What I'm looking to it for us to observe is for the foot to grasp that piece of shrimp. And if we're really lucky, we will see the proboscis emerge. I can't get There's the proboscis. There's the proboscis looking for... You see that funny looking thing? Oh, it's kind of pinkish purplish in color. Now it's out of view. It's behind the piece of shrimp. But 
What you're seeing is you're seeing the foot here on the glass. All right, you see how that piece of shrimp is moving? It is being inhaled. Let me get a little bit different angle here on the camera and maybe we will see that piece of shrimp disappear. piece of shrimp is disappearing and what we're most likely going to observe after that piece of shrimp is gone is we might likely see the proboscis coming out looking for more. This species of whelk lives strictly in the ocean. The other three species we have are the knobbed whelk, the lightning whelk and the channeled whelk. Those three species may be found both in the ocean and in the estuary. The pear whelk, on the other hand, is strictly found in the ocean and near shore waters. That was a big piece of shrimp. It's taken a while for it to get it down. But we'll go ahead and observe. In the interest of time, I will stop filming right now, and as it gets that piece of shrimp down closer to the end, we'll pick up again and see if we're able to see the proboscis uh, at the very end. There you see the proboscis. If you look right there at the fold in the foot, you can see the end of the proboscis. I'm not sure what it's searching for. There, you can actually see inside. Let me see if I can get just a little bit closer here without getting distortion. You're actually looking inside the proboscis. Not many people get to see this, folks. There you see the proboscis reaching out. It's trying to grasp that piece of shrimp again. Excellent, excellent view here. All right, still searching. If you look closely at the opening at the end, you can almost, you can get a glimpse of the radular teeth inside. Still searching. Again, not many people have seen this. Over the years, at the estuarium and previous to that at the old North Street Aquarium, I've had whelk who would scavenge feed. Predominantly, your channeled whelk will scavenge feed, and people have been able to observe action like this. I would say over all the years, probably fewer than oh, 100 to 150 people have seen this sort of thing. I don't know if it's anywhere else on the web or on YouTube videos, but this is truly a unique sight. Here comes a Derek. Look who's coming in. Look who's coming in. <laughs> the thief. The Blenny just took the food. That's the way it is, folks. No remorse. Sitting there looking, staring, and looking for more. Picking on an empty snail shell there. 
headed back, headed back to his corner. That was a big gulp. And here you see the pear whelk. Now, that dark plate right there, that's called the operculum. That is attached to the very end of the animal's foot. And when the animal retreats up inside of its shell, that's the last thing that comes along. It's a, it's a plate-like, um, and it closes off the opening of the shell. It's a security door, if you will. And I think that's about the end of what we're going to see here. The uh, whelk was able to eat some. It could sit in that position for another hour or more. We are not going to sit here and observe. Um, it may be buried down in the sand when I come in in the morning, or it may still be up and be interested in more food. We'll see. We're going to call it, oh, start to move again. Here comes, I see the blenny starting to poke back in, poke back into the scene. That's all the food though. Yeah, give us, give us your profile. Let's see what you look like. This is an ocean species of blenny, many, many species of blenny. If you were to Google blenny, you'd find more fish than you can imagine. And he goes back into his corner again. All right, we're going to call an end to this filming session. I'm going to leave these animals in peace, and I'm going home myself. It is now the next morning, and as will be seen, our pear whelk is not to be seen anywhere in the tank. There's our little blenny right there, hungry. The pear whelk has buried itself, buried itself down in the sands. This is June 1st, 2011. The next time I see the, there's our sea star, also hungry this morning. I've got some critters to feed. I will record the pear whelk when it, there's our anemone. The next time it shows itself, it will be interesting to see how long it goes without food.